In this video, I'll be covering a few main variations of the Sicilian hyperaccelerated dragon. Sicilian starts off with e4 by white, and now black with c5. It's called the Sicilian defense, and white plays knight f3. Now black plays g6, bring a feet shadow with his bishop, d4, and now cx2. What is two options? Knight xd4, queen xd4? I'm gonna start off with queen xd4. So if white plays queen xd4, we'll leave and opens attack on our rook. So now we play knight of six. So um, white can play e5, now attacking our knight, and we don't have to move directly. Instead we play knight c6. What is two options? I'll cover the first one, queen c4. But after queen c4, we can play d5, attacking the queen. Now, take on Poisson, let's say. Then, we can play bishop e6, attacking the queen. Other option would be, after this move, queen a4, instead of queen a4. So, um, this move, we play knight d5, putting our knight in the center. Oh, but this would be really bad for what? And we have a knight in the center, and we can put more pressure on the e5 pawn, and our knight's in the center, so we can put more pressure on this queen, because this queen is on the open. So instead of queen takes d4, we're going to do knight takes d4. Knight takes d4. Bishop to g7. So what is two options? First, we're going to be covering knight c3, knight c6. And if white plays takes c6, b takes c6, black is in a better position probably because we have more center space. So instead, bishop e3 by white, knight of 6 attacking the pawn a little put more pressure bishop to c4 and that bishop is not allowing us to play d5 it's a lot of fun. so there's two options here for black first one castles then white will play bishop b3 naturally queen a5 then and now we're playing attack on this my test to find out how to defend. The other option here would be to go for queen f5 here. Queen f5 here. What is a few options? Uh, I'll look for the first one. Queen d2, let's say. But queen d2 is not that great. Because we can go from knight e4, knight c6, let's say, queen c3, queen c3, bishop c3, b c3, and then d c3, bishop d4, let's say, now black and castle. This would be a better position naturally, because black is a better pawn structure. Here, now black can develop his peaches not naturally. So go back. Instead of queen d2, we can instead play queen d3. But now so from 95, queen d2, and now knight takes e4 because it's been. And this would be winning for black. So. Instead of that, castles would be the best move here, and, and black could just play castles, and this is a fine position. So, gonna go back. So, instead of this, what if white plays 
C4. This is called the Meroxy Bond. Um, if, you, if they do this, we can go Knight C6, Bishop E3, Knight F6, Knight C3, and Knight G4. This is interesting. You might be like, this piece is hanging. Like, why can't we just take it like this? Well, what could take it and is the best move, but then we go for knight xd4, and then uh, after this, white has a few moves. Start off the first one, king is like queen's like castle, but the king is open here. White black does have to go knight c6, but this would naturally be a better position for black. Instead, they can go for bishop to d3, but this, well, if we go for d5, discover attack, hitting the queen. This would be a very bad position for white. So that leaves queen d1, but now we can just go e5 supporting, and this would be a fine position match. That's all for today. Like and subscribe. Bye.